Okay, welcome back to Mang Hunter or Monster Hunter World Iceborne. And the reason I'm starting on this uh, on the PS4 dashboard is so that I can do the sudden reveal of a new piece of equipment that I acquired. Uh, here we go. You'll probably know what it is. It's a fucking little monkey riding on my head. Look at it. Look at it. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him bobbing around. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we're going to go into combat together. Holy shit, man. That's amazing. So, yeah, this is a event thing going on right now. The event quest is to capture six of these little monkeys. Um, which is very easy. It's very quick to do. Very easy to do. And you only have to do that quest like two or three times. And to get the tickets and then prize pals come from like popos. And that's it. Super easy to make. Everyone should be doing it. Everyone should have this on their head. Um, it's not like an amazing piece of gear. It is rarity nine. It's got high defense for some reason. Um, it's got a couple slots there and it gives recovery up two, which isn't like useless or anything. It's fine. Uh, I would say mechanically, it's a bit of a downgrade from my Beototus helmet, but look at it. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, can you, you can probably change his look too. Can you oh, you can change his fur at will. Oh my God. I kind of like the white. I didn't even think about it at the time. I thought it was just, oh, it's a white monkey. That's cool. Um, we could make them like this to sort of match the armor. That's, that's probably fine. <laughs> All right, let's go into battle. Wonderful. So we're going to be doing a couple of subspecies this time. No time for naps. Play both ends. We've got a Nightshade Paolumu. Uh, which apparently causes drowsiness. I don't even remember what normal Paolumu does. I thought it was also sleep, but apparently not. Or apparently yes, and Nightshade does some... I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe it's just a poison sleep Paolumu. I don't know. Everything's poison. Uh, and then we have Coral Puke Puke, uh, who's like Puke Puke, but he shoots water. So let's do Nightshade Paolumu first, heading into the Wild Spire Waste. Uh, so you'll notice I'm using a different sword. I don't know if it's better than what I was using, but it's not worse. Okay, I guess it could be worse. I don't know the exact math for elemental damage and all that. Um, it has higher raw damage, but it's elementless. Actually, hold up. If it's elementless. No problem. Yeah, hold on. I got a decoration for that. Elementless jewel. Powers up non-elemental weapons you have equipped. So that'll bump me from 329 to 344. There's no reason not to put this on. Okay. Let's rock and roll. There's a fucking monkey on my head. Jesus. And, you know, Gaijin Hunter just put out a video pretty recently trashing a bunch of weapons 
weapon designs in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Uh, and that's been a common complaint for Monster Hunter World in general, is that the weapon designs are very uninspired, a lot of copy paste. Um, and I'm usually not too bothered, but yeah, the Iceborne shit, like he was showing off all the Brachydios weapons. Some of them are just really just unacceptable basically just bone weapons with like a little bit of brachydeos material on them the sword and shield is looking good so we don't have to worry about that but yeah they they've definitely got issues with their weapon design but then again there's a monkey on my head that's looking around and stuff so i i don't know you know goes both ways you got the good with the bad now i'm not playing with sound on for some reason i don't know if that'll be a big problem I don't think he's going to be in the caves or anything. Maybe like these caves. Oh, we're on to something. cinematic we'll get to see exactly what it can do Fucking monkey. Oh my god. How can we ever take it off? Wake up, monkey. Back with us? That's a relief. Let's continue the hunt. All right. So it's definitely uh, sleep, sleep stuff. Putting, putting things to sleep. Where am I? It's right here. Oh, he's being one of these guys. One of these wise guys. No, he really, he really booked it. Look at him over there. It's like that legendary Pokemon in the first episode of the show. I don't know enough about Pokemon to tell you its name, but... that It's a, it's a Pokemon. Alright, let's rock and roll. Now, I don't know if we have as good at earplugs anymore. So we might get we might get hit by that. No, we're good still. But there is a fucking bear off here. Uh, I mean we're gonna get put to sleep at some point. That that is inevitable. Make no mistake. Oh, 
Oh, he hit me hard. No, see, he the direct blast meant that I just avoided the whole thing. But walking into the dust, temporal mantle can't handle that. Man, he leaves these fucking plumes. Can't do anything about it. Master rank bear off putting on some some moves We will ditch him now Steady doesn't make you immune. Got him. Stabbing this little monster in the face with a dagger as long as my arm would do more than one damage But what do I know? Seems like face or bus, as far as damage is concerned. Here we go. Plugs are good. Okay, let me get this some slinger torch. There we go. That's not good. My god, he's spazzing out. He's like a balloon that you let off. Cool. That's cool. He sucks it in. Sucks it in and sucks it out right now on top of I mean, you're definitely going to deal with some subspecies that are just like copy paste, change one little change poison to paralysis. Look at this new monster. So the more exciting stuff is, of course, the actual new monsters. But 
there are some some cool subspecies. Oh, poor Barra. Actually, I mean, he doesn't have anything to do. Why? He can just take a nap. Some nights I wouldn't mind just getting hit with some smoke, sleep, gas, and being out. That was real. Yeah, I made sure to walk in front of the monster from a distance and then start sharpening because I have played many hours of Monster Hunter. Problem is, sword and shield does not excel against. Well, it's harder to excel against really flippy, floaty, flying monsters. I guess that's what the clutch claw is for, right? Why keep forgetting that that exists? You can do uppercuts once I figure out. Damn you, son of a bitch. Am I hitting the wrong button? No, I was hitting the right button. There you go. We, of course, want to get him in the head. So, really, we should just aim. little flying mouse thing yeah clutch glad does make it a lot easier do damage right where you need to nope. there we go now that we injured it takes a whole bunch of damage there can grab some piercing pods for some extra fun. The monkey is having a good time. You know, I had to capture 18 of these monkeys to make this so I guess maybe we were just like captured a bunch of monkeys and we were figuring out which one would be most agreeable to ride on top of my head. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, he got face blasted. Oh, the damage! Stupid little mouse flying thing. Look at that evade. Oh my god. Then I get knocked on my ass. But other than that. God, the camera. 
What is happening? Move. No, move. I don't know where I am, but it's good. Good damage. Freaking out, man. He's freaking out. is not a weak spot, huh? Clutch Claw. Pretty cool. God, oh God, humanity. I don't know why that keeps popping up. I mean, I know I really have to. I gave Mert my old PS4. I sold it to him. And then, so he had a PS4, and I was like, oh, you should play Monster Hunter. And then he didn't want to buy Monster Hunter. So I'm like, oh, we can do that family share shit, and you can play Monster Hunter. And so then I did the family share shit. But that means you always have to be online to play your own games because of the way it works. So now I don't think he even plays his PS4. And I have to deal with this bullshit. I gotta remove it. I gotta take back what was given. Oh, good lord. He didn't even drop. Do it again. There he dropped. What the fuck? I'm not complaining. That I'm gonna complain about. That was bullshit. How you doing there? Buddy. Been hitting you pretty hard. Have some more right in your stupid face. Get up. Get get go go oh god. Google's asleep. On the job. Just like Google in real life. I mean, this is not the fastest kill probably in the history of the world. Because you wonder if Clutch Claw... Clutch Claw is easy to do damage. That does not mean optimal. It's not like shit damage. But the numbers aren't obscene. I don't want to be 
ass tail. Holy shit, man. Being on those wings, that does not look safe. Oh, boy. Cool, go. Okay. So much gas, little buddy. I can't even clutch. Can't even clutch. And somehow I'm falling asleep. Somehow that missed. Google, what are you doing? What are you doing? Unless that's a negate sleep. Okay, we got it. Seems like a lot of damage though. I guess not really. If I can do that sort of infinite combo sword slash stuff, and that's doing like 40, 50 a hit or something pretty quick. It's just these airborne so freaking much. And I don't want to have to slash at his tail. I guess I can slash at his tail. me through the sleep gas. Google! Oh, I just realized when he put on a mantle, the monkey goes away. Guess we can't use mantles anymore. Clawed the coconut fell on his head just as planned. You got no, no, no. I thought that was. as butter. It's just not really caring anything about what I do. He's just got his little routine. He's sticking to it. And I'm just sort of here. Thank you. 
No. Well, the infinite combo would do good damage if I was hitting his face. And here we go again, like nothing's changed. Yeah, he sometimes just dips me in the gas. And what can I do? Wait for Google to put his cart and shit around. Get this off so I can see my monkey. I think he's probably just about done. Let's capture his ass. Sick of fighting Palumu. I could remember what normal Paolumu does. I never. I fought Paolumu like three times total in this game. Oh, that was a good spot. Alright, it was a good spot. Done and done. Turn to Astera and prepare for the next investigation. Oh no, my headset was disconnected. What will I do? I don't have a microphone. Oh, no, you can't hear any of this. Hey, Miasma Jewel plus four. Raise your effluvia resistance by two, I'm betting. Just what I needed. Okay. Next hunt should be... A lot more simple. You don't have an asshole that flies around the whole time. Okay. Left to investigate? <laughs> they are ghosty. Maybe he's got cool new stuff. Maybe he's got... Uh, nope, nope, no. Nope. I have a whole bunch of all those. Um, uh, well, no. Uh, Majestic Horn. I don't have any of those, but it's not really new. Uh, okay, this is all pretty useless. Alrighty! Um, alright, let's take a look. In, not a book, in a workshop. Not that I really want to farm it, but let's look at the Nightshade Paolumu armor set. And I can show off some of the armor sets that I looked through on my own. Lumu Phantasma. There you have it. All right, that helmet, I mean, we would never wear that helmet anyways. I don't like it, and it's not a monkey, so... Okay, um, I never liked those, like, boot designs with the big fluffy things coming out. I, I just don't like that. Uh, I do like the main armor piece a lot. Uh, 
I think if you just had that, I think I think that's pretty nice. Doesn't really go with my sort of scaly other pieces. But it's got weakness exploit, wide range, wide range, maximum might, maximum might, sleep attack, sleep attack, wide range, sleep resistance, wide range. Yeah, wide range I'm not really focusing on because we're playing solo. So it's pretty useless to me. The B set, uh, it's very similar colors. The you know, alternate colors are in different places. For the most part, they seem to have sort of, uh, A and B is really similar looking in a lot of sets. But, okay, uh, so Bone looks pretty similar to the other Bone sets. A lot of skin showing. Uh, Alloy, again, looks pretty similar. Vespoid, all right. Hornetower. I think I've actually liked other Hornetower sets more in the past. And I guess it's all pretty similar. Hornetower B looks pretty good for high rank. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, yeah. So a lot of that is just sort of recycled. Uh, Jagras I like. Jagras actually looks pretty sweet. Uh, not the hat, of course. We would never use that. But the chest piece with the little cloak. I like that. And the leg piece. I think that looks pretty good. Especially in white. That looks good. Zitzi. Still don't like it. Gyros. Again, like one of the best best looking armor sets in the game as far as i'm concerned and yet it's like the shittiest you have to go full fashion hunter if you're using the gyro set it's got like unless you're using a hunting horn then it's okay but horn maestro paralysis resistance free element effluvia resistance paralysis attack free element like it's just i could never bring myself to use it but it looks so good making a layered set uh, Dodo Gamma always looks pretty good. Here's some blast stuff. Hulu. Sort of a Middle Eastern flair to it. Puke. I think Puke looks pretty good. Puke Master Rank looks pretty good. What did High Rank look like? Yeah, lame. It looked pretty lame. That helmet is all right. But Master Rank got a big upgrade for Puke Puke. I mean, that looks sharp. That hat is hot. Very nice. Very sort of Robin Hood esque. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, it's actually not a terrible set, but I wasn't convinced to use it. Baroth, I would never use in a million years. Jurotodas actually is a really cool looking set. Um, but I don't want to fight a bunch of Jurotodas. Uh, Kadachi, I wish Kada Toby Kadachi had better looking sets. And the Viper Kadachi is just a palette swap. Greatly disappointing me. I was hoping with that they would really mix it up, but it's just, it's just so plain and boring. I mean, it's it looks like something like if I went to Paris in winter or something, I would see somebody wearing this outfit. So it's just not something I want to take into battle. Uh, high metal set is just too bulky and ugly. And borrow set, I'm shocked they didn't give proper leggings for the band borrow set because it feels like this should be a set that's really like comfy looking, like full winter ice fur comfy and yet that's i mean her vagina is showing this is ridiculous it's ridiculous and that brings us to where we are uh let's go again for another long video and go do coral cape okay because i'm not going to do one hunt per video we'll be here all year 
Play both ends. Rock and roll. So, I did say I'm trying to make, you know, more sets as I play through Iceborne. Uh, but so far, nothing is really like, I gotta make this. I gotta make it. But if Coral Puke Puke looks like the Puke Puke set and has some cool skills, like water attack, I could switch back to my water sword and, or maybe make a new sword. Oh. Possibilities are limitless. Not really. Commencing the Coral Puke Puke investigation now. The Fifth Fleet's A-list hunter will take point while I keep running. The field team has already gathered tracks. Let's follow the scout flies. Okay. Let's rock. All right, we got some footprints right out the gate. That's what I like to see. Not that, not that guy. Don't track that guy at all. Don't even pretend he doesn't exist. Ooh. Ooh, I like those colors. Red, white, and yellow. And he's got a big <laughs> dick hole. those colors fingers crossed for this armor set could be the next level of man oh yeah i forgot he's a bouquet bouquet i remember i remember about this tongue why did i just drink that what am i doing Now we got this asshole in here. There's probably not even a turf war. Just, he's just gonna piss me off, that's all. Stupid face. Nah, he's got a cool face. I just always say that. I always say it. guy even doing what is he doing oh, oh, oh. Uh, the so the shield slam is uh, also KO damage if you hit him in the head so you can knock him out with enough shield slam not to the body though that does nothing Ooh. Hello, Mr. Face. Damn it, you fuck. You were supposed to meet shield. There you go. Yep, I knew that was coming. 
I hope some miracle would happen before I connected them. Ooh, we could pop that big fat tail of his. That sounds kind of appealing. We might need it to make his armor. headset ps4 nonsense just release ice core on pc you shitheads whoa whoa -ho -ho. okay was not expecting that that did a lot of damage Okay, we'll have to remember that in the future. Poor monkey, getting blasted with water. He didn't ask for this. Actually, he didn't ask for anything. I captured him out of the wild and stuck him on my head. This attack isn't doing anything, man. What are you shooting at? You have no... Okay. I think this fight's going pretty well. I mean, we died. Yes. True. But we're putting out some mad deeps. All right, get, get, get my monkey back. Damn. this tail like a fucking cherry. Yikes. Getting all this water from. Oh my god, and it can come out his mouth and his ass. What an abomination. Man, let's get the fuck out of here. He'd already expelled more water than his body could possibly hold. Okay, we broke his face. Nice, I suppose. Now 
what I want. I want that gold prize. Big plump tail. There we go. There we go. Oh. Mm, mm. Damn. Damn it, I completely forgot this whole game. I've been playing the Switch one too much. Break your stupid tail. It's gotta be possible. trying it might not be possible we can beat the shit out of his face i know that oh see a tail blow it out your ass oh damn it Shield slamming on not a weak spot is not really worth your time. We can do that. How did that not <laughs> I was like inside of him How did I not get a hit Damn it Mr. Capcom Hmm It's in a bag.
this is your spot this is where you flee to when you're in when you're about to die I mean, his shoulder blade. Okay, but I want to grab this. And then I want to do this, do this, and this, do some of this, some of that. Oh, that was pretty. That was good. I was like a pro player. No, no. I... Damn, I'm still breaking shit. I'm gonna make a set of clothing out of your ass. Don't you dare. Yeah, you're really just immune to pretty much everything. Or do I have stun resist? Is that why? Oh shit, the tail. Fuck. I forgot about the tail. We will never make it there. Because there's no beetle. Oh, no, no. No, no, you fuck. I tried. I was dumb. I always forget about the tail. I run off. Ooh. Survival expert skill. Good, 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 good. Job done. Good work out there. Um, I don't have audio on, but it didn't seem like you read that. <laughs> nice work on those subspecies. You work fast. Now it's our turn to analyze what you found. Splendid job. Anyway, it looks like this chapter of our investigation is over. We have you to thank for that. But that doesn't mean you get to sit around with your feet up. We received word from Celiana that they've had a series of Barioth sightings in the Horfrost Reach. <laughs> Heh, that got your attention. Anyway, rest up, then head over once you're ready. Oh man, we're doing Barioth next. Ooh. Shall we return to Celiana? He always scare Barioth and Nargakuga just scare me. Um, it's interesting that they went for Barioth before Nargakuga. But that's 
fine. Uh, oh, before we end, let us look at this armor. Maybe it'll be sweet. Why do they? Okay, this is the Rotobon set, which looks really cool. I, I really like that. Oh, yeah. But it's all pretty lame stuff. It's guard and blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is the Paolumu normal set. Again, you can see pallet swap, which gives me hope for Oral Fouquet. Wrath Heart. So this is Pink Rathian. Ugh, God, I really don't like those big metal slabs. Ugh, the whole thing just upsets me. Ugh. Anjanath. Looks pretty good. Pretty similar to Jagris. That's much better. I like that a lot. Although I don't like that cloak. So maybe... Yeah, something like that would be good. That, that, looks, that looks pretty good. Um, but special ammo boost? I mean, who's talking about that nonsense? Ugh. You just throw this bullshit in there. You gotta start to mix and match. Uh, Coral Puke. Oh, yeah, looks good. It's just a palette swap. Well, we've got critical draw. Well, that's useless pretty much for sword and shield. So we could use that helmet, I guess. Uh, power prolonger, also useless. Heartbreakers, okay. Water attack, item prolonger. It's certainly not a groundbreaking set mechanically that I have to have. But it does look pretty cool. Well, I guess, you know, I don't even need the helm, although I do really like it. I could just have the monkey, but then without the helm, the helm really, that really brings the set together, to be perfectly honest. I mean, Without it, it's just like, okay, that's fine. Then you're like, boom, oh man, that's, that's badass. Um, and now we've come into the dilemma with Monster Hunter World Iceborne of <laughs> what are you willing to give up the monkey for? Hmm. And I'm not willing to give it up for a fucking critical draw, an item prolonger. So without the helmet, I can't say I'm super enthused about the set. So, as it stands... Let me look at the Anjanath set again. Oh, but they have this special ammo boost. God, that's so lame. And it's like, that seems like a core part of it. No, 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 we just haven't found, we haven't found it yet, what I want to switch to next. So maybe, um, maybe Baryoth, could be, that's usually like evade extenders and stuff like that. So that could be fun, and it might look good. That's going to be a fresh set. So that's what we'll be doing next time. My name is Mang, this has been Mang Hunter for Monster Hunter World Iceborne, and I'll see you fine folks in the next part.